All right, we'll start with Shane McClanahan there, the five runs in the third inning, Bader with the leadoff double and then the home runs. What were you seeing from him that inning? Just a little bit of snowball. You know, we, we kept a, a good offense quiet for two games, and then they, they kind of they, they made us pay today a little bit and, and got the big hits with guys on base. And then the offense kind of went quiet after the first inning with Garrett Cole out there, those eight strikeouts, seven strong innings from him. What were you seeing? He locked it in pretty good. I mean, we, we know how good he is. Uh, Wander came up, picked us up in a big way early on. Uh, but after that, it didn't look like there was too much that he was featuring that, that uh, looked easy to hit by any stretch. So he got in a good rhythm, executed pitches. And when he's executing pitches, it's really tough to put anything together. Luke Rayleigh, that right knee contusion, maybe nothing serious? Or what's the concern? I, yeah, I hope not. I mean, off to, when he hit it, I knew that was really painful. I thought I got him right on the knee, at, just on the outside or inside of it. He was in a lot of pain. And for him to, you know, come out of the game, Luke's about as tough as anybody that, that we have on the club. So I know he's sore. He's going to be sore. The hope is that, um, you know, with the day off tomorrow, he, he feels a little bit better. I mean, going back to Shane, I mean, he's, you know, he's throwing 99 miles an hour. He's yeah. averaging 97, but he's, you know, having you know, some issues where he's not getting the results he's gotten in the past. And this is now six starts without yeah. a win. He's had the back issues. Is he healthy? Is there anything that you're concerned yeah, about? Yeah, look, at the, end of the, uh, at the end of his outing, 81 pitches, he said the, the outside of his forearm tightened up a little bit. Um, I'm, as we speak right now, I'm not overly concerned. We'll certainly do right by him uh, and get him checked out and go from there. But at that point in the game, 82 pitches, whatever it was, through four, we're probably not going to send him back out for the fifth inning to get over a 100-pitch mark at you know, over five innings. Um, but we'll see. He said he, you know, it tightened up, and then now we got to – See what the doctors say. Outside of the forearm, typically an area of concern? Um, no, not typically. So it's more no. inside is more of the concern. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just going back to what Mark said, I mean, he is, the velocity is there, but they were hitting his fastball a little bit tonight. You just credit them for. I credit them, and he, I mean, they hit him in some fastball counts. I mean, the 3 1 fastball to Stanton, he was ready for it. Most hitters are probably looking for something hard in that count, and he got it, and, and then he barreled it. Come back to the water ball. I think that was the furthest ball he's ever hit. Was it? Yeah. I knew it went a long way. I didn't know it was the farthest ball, but Wander, man, what, what a series he had. What a game even today he had. He's all over the field, stopping, preventing runs from coming in. Uh, he does so many things to help us win on a nightly basis, you know, whether it's with the bat, the defense, on the on the, ba on the bases. Um, he's, he's really had two good series here back-to-back. All right, Shane, I guess we'll start with that third inning, maybe those five runs. Bader started it off with a double and then the home runs. What were you feeling that inning? Um, you know, stinks, obviously. want to prevent that from happening. And, you know, I feel like I've gotten, you know, kind of in a, the last few outings have been pretty uncharacteristic of myself. And, you know, you know, it's one of those times in my career where it's either, you know, keep put your head down and hide or you just keep your chest up, keep working. And, you know, trust it all sorts out and or sorts itself out and I'm just gonna keep working and you know just move on that's all I can do is there anything you can pinpoint or is that the frustrating part that you feel like there's nothing you can pinpoint or what might it be probably just execution of pitches you know getting ahead and you know I didn't walk anybody but probably threw too many middle middle stuff middle middle fastballs or change-ups whatever and it's got to be better with my execution Cash said the outside of your forearm maybe tightened up a little bit. What are you feeling now, and what did you feel then specifically? Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just it's one of those things where outside of it just kind of got tight, kind of grabbed me a little bit, and, and I mentioned it to him, and you know, we're going we're gonna to see what that is and get, you know, hopefully get that taken care of. Do you remember what pitch that was or when you felt it? Um, I, I kind of felt it in warm-ups. It just grabbed, wouldn't let go, and... I was like, this is kind of interesting, and you know, I got through the fourth, and you know, I made note of it to him, and you know, I, I felt like, you know, I told him, I said, hey, listen, you know, this happened, I can keep going, and you know, obviously, we decided to err on the side of caution, and you know, I'm not going to speculate, I'm not going to make any assumptions, and we're just going to take it day by day, and you know, see what see what comes up. You meant warm ups for the fourth inning, yeah. not for the start of the game. Uh, right? no, it was just you got you. yeah, just. It wasn't like a specific pitch or something. That's what I was trying to get at. Oh, no. Yeah. You're probably not worry about it then if you felt like you could have kept going. I would assume. Like I said, I don't want, I don't want to speculate. You know, um, adrenaline's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And um, so 
just, yeah, we're not going to speculate. We're going to have to see what it says. You said you were going to see a doctor. Will you go home or will you go to Detroit and do that? Yeah, I'm flying, flying back to Tampa tomorrow morning, and uh, we're going to get it looked at. Okay, the, good? My doctor eating there. I believe so. Okay, and just the fact that it's on the outside, is that of some a less concern than if it's on the inside? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So he, he said it was. I just wanted to say Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, took quite a hit to the knee there. How does it feel uh, at this moment? It's, it's sore, but um, hopefully the off day tomorrow, we can get back out there on Friday. I was going to say, obviously, these things are kind of hard to predict, but are you? do you think it's just kind of a bruise at this point, or does it feel like anything more? No, I think it's just kind of a bruise. It's just I hit it off the wrong spot, and hopefully it's... It um, feels better when I wake up tomorrow and we can do what we need to do tomorrow to, for me to be able to play on Friday. Did you did do any kind of x-ray or anything here? Yeah, yeah. we got an x-ray and came back negative, so <laughs> that's good news. Yeah, it just, just hitting a bad spot. So. It's like kind of been almost one thing after another. You've had a couple of these type of things. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating, but, you know, it is what it is, and we're going to do everything I can to be back on the field on Friday. It's the game tonight. You guys got off to the quick start as you had been the, the past week or so, and then it seemed like maybe Cole got locked in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, he's obviously a really good pitcher, so um, I think that we were having some good at-bats off of him. I obviously missed a little bit of it, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought that he was throwing the ball pretty well. We we got on, on him in the first inning, which was great, and, um, yeah, it was just one, one of those things they – they, they scored a couple on Mac, and you know we were we were trying to answer back and just didn't. He had told us he had some tightness in his forearm. He's flying back to Tampa to have it checked. I assume that's concerning when you see one of your top pitchers have that kind of issue. Yeah, I mean you don't want to see anybody on the team have to go anywhere to get anything checked. So, um, you know Mac is obviously extremely important to our team, and he's a big leader on the team. So, hopefully everything comes back and it's okay, and and we can figure out a way around it.